Hello everyone, this is the Biologist 13 and welcome to the Custom Spawners tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining pretty much everything in Custom Spawners. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do in Custom Spawners to get started is you have to create an entity. And an entity is anything that a mob spawner can spawn. So to create an entity you do slash CSE, create, and then the base entity type that you want to do. So that'd be like a pig or a sheep or whatever. So in this first part of the tutorial, we're going to make a saddled pig. So the base entity type is a pig. So we do slash CSE, create, and then pig. So let's say successfully created a new pig entity with ID number, and then it'll be some ID number. And you have to remember that ID number because that's how you identify it when you're creating the spawner. So since we're creating a saddled pig, we have to use the set saddled commands to make it have a saddle. So for that, we do slash CSE set saddled and then the ID number of our entity which is 1 and then we want to set it to true so it'll say successfully set that property to true so now we have a saddled pig but there's nothing to spawn it yet so for that we have to create a spawner so to do that all you have to do is look at the block that you want to be a spawner do slash CSS create and then the ID number of the entity that you want to use so we're using entity 1 so we do that so now we have successfully created a one spawner with ID one. So that means it created a spawner to spawn entity one, and it gave the spawner ID number one. So now we need to look at the different properties that the spawner has. So for that, we do slash CSS info, and then one. And that gives us a list of all the different properties. So we see stuff like active, like whether it's on, the types that it has, spawn rate, radius, etc. So all we want to mess with is the maximum light level so it can spawn during the day. And we also want to tweak this to on. So to make it so it can spawn during the day, we do slash CSS, max light, and then the ID number, which is 1. And we set that to 15, because 15 is daylight. So now this spawner can spawn in any light condition. Now to finally turn it on, we just do slash CSS, on, and then the ID number. So that's 1. So now this guy is active, and we have some saddled pigs. And it spawns every 6 seconds right now, because that's every 120 ticks. So yeah. And custom spawners can do a lot, lot more than this, and I will go into those features in future tutorials. But for now, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I wish I was a cow. Oh.